What's up guys? Today I want to show off my SIG P320 X5 Legion and it is a um, kind of upgraded or customized version because I want to have something that uh, I enjoy and uh, not uh, something that just comes out of the box. So that's what I like. Anyhow, first of all, let's see. Uh, safety check. Nothing, nothing. All right. And let's see what I did to it. Obviously the slide and the um, red dot is comes out of the box. Uh, I bought a kind of a combination uh, uh, X5 Legion for $1,200 before uh, pandemic b began. And uh, it was a pretty sweet deal. And uh, let's see, I yeah have the uh, Icarus uh, P320 Socom uh, version of uh, of the grip and uh, is aluminum and is light and it's very very different from the original uh, factory one and uh, the benefit of the factory one is a tungsten you know fusion kind of thing and it's very heavy and I like it a lot and this is cool and it's very very ergonomic in terms of like your uh, how your finger uh, is placed and how close you you can you know your grip can get close to the to the um, uh, bore uh, but uh, one thing I don't like it uh, about it is like uh, it's very light especially for my build or configuration the biggest problem is that uh, it's very heavy headed and it's very light on the on the tail and uh, it's very off balanced uh, to be honest and that is that that gives me a not so much of a fun experience during shooting because you can feel like the head is always like uh, trying to dip and I need to spend a lot of energy on like holding it so uh, that's what I do not like however Good news is I only today I found out that Armory Craft is making uh, tungsten weight kits for Icarus P320 grip. And uh, what it does is is very similar to what they did for Wilson Combat grip module. Uh, they just made a bunch of like a tungsten sticks where you can put into the rear of the uh, Icarus grip module and uh, it definitely increases the weight and there are two two versions one is like a three rods and one is five rods the other is so all those like great stuff however what i'm struggling to understand is how do i install it on my grip module because according to the armored crafts uh description there's supposed to be holes at the at the back of the grip module, if you take the gun apart and you will see there, you could see like a five holes or three holes or whatever. Um, but I don't see it. You know, I, I bought my grip module back in 2021 and it's all sealed up. There's no holes for the, uh, the weight kits. And uh, Icarus mentions nothing about those holes prepared for those weight kits in their production description and Armory Craft did not mention which Ecross module uh, this is made for and whether uh, they provide some drilling you know service or you need to drill or anything about it basically they just announced this new product the, the tungsten weight kits on their website but they said nothing further so i guess i hope more details will come and anyhow if there is a way to have those holes drilled either you know i don't know i'm hesitant about doing it myself because it's a one-way train if i do it wrong then i kind of ruined it if they provide the drilling service or you know there's a newer version of ecross um uh, grip module that can have those holes or whatever anyhow if that can you know, it, 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 if that can work, then that will offset my biggest problem a lot because that will in increase the weight at the tail a lot and uh, make my gun really, really balanced off. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, that's some exciting things that I'm looking for. Uh, hopefully it can work out. So, so let's continue with my build. 
obviously there is a gas pedal here it's a must have and i know there's a ton of different versions different kind of a um um uh companies that making different shapes or whatever so anyhow uh this helps a lot and i love it and uh as we mentioned before the, the 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 gun is really long i don't even know how long this is like <laughs> by looking at it is a kind of ridiculous uh ridiculously long i have a like big ass um compensator that is made by tyrant design and uh the why i like this is it's not a traditional compensator because you don't need any set screw you don't need loctite no nothing and it's very easy to take apart so that you can completely still uh, feel strip the gun in a traditional way and uh, you don't need to make you know compromise how you clean your gun so it's an easy takeoff easy you know put back on kind of thing kind of de design you just need you know remove this and there are a couple of uh rubber washers that you can put in to prevent the compensator from rotating and it stays really well i've shot it and it stays really well and only one kind of uh uh a little customization you need to do which is different than their um factory recommendation i put an, an additional washer in it so that it stays really really well uh initially i followed their instruction and, and i just you know did exactly what they said just put one washer in it and tighten it up guess what it still became loose and then you can see a little bit of wear mark here and it did uh became loose and uh, you know during a shooting session and it started to rotate and it started to hit or grind on my uh ecross grip and it kind of broke my heart anyway uh after then i uh look into it and see hey there are actually more rooms inside how about i just put in another uh, or the thicker uh rubber washer in it and after that it stays solid uh, after you know two three hundred rounds it stays it will not rotate so that perfectly solved the problem uh that's a little kind of lesson and uh yeah if you plan to put the uh this thing on it uh yeah i would recommend you to put one washer here uh inside with the barrel and the one uh washer inside for this for this part right so two two uh washers will make it really really solid and the uh, does the compensator work uh i would say yes uh it works in two ways definitely one one way is it added weight to the tip of your barrel and uh there there are holes so does it matter functionally probably not but i just like it to be cool you know i just want a comp on my gun whenever i can uh especially when it comes to a kind of new designed compensator like this not a traditional one i not the one that i need to put set screw and loctite and all those kind of hassle uh next in order to have a compensator obviously i needed a uh, threaded barrel and uh, what i got is a uh, bowl barrel from army craft and uh, this is for uh, uh, p320 x5 x5 legion uh, specifically and it's a bull barrel and it works really well and a uh, highly uh well a uh, highly recommended uh well built solid quality uh, it's a bull barrel it's thick it's solid you 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 can feel it and uh, i'm very happy about it and i believe they uh, milled a kind of a flat thing at the six o'clock of the barrel and i believe the army crafts compensator for p320 they, they i think they had two versions the first version they had is like you just put a set, uh, set screw from the six o'clock and you you know just uh, put it up and uh later on they changed their design and they changed it to two set screws on the side which is like uh, uh kind of four o'clock and eight, eight o'clock i would say so um anyhow their barrel still has like one flat uh surface that they milled uh at the six o'clock so anyhow and uh yeah in order to match the length i had to put a streamlight tlr rm2 laser weapon light and uh, you can see it stays flush um 
works really well, but this is <laughs> this is for rifle. Uh, yeah, a lot of you might say, hey, it looks weird. Uh, why do you put a rifle, you know, laser on a pistol? Yeah, I did. And uh, guess what? It looked looked pretty good. And that added ad additional weight. And that's all that that all contributes to the problem of off being off balance. Um, you know, anyhow. And uh, let's see what else. I have a Armory Craft extended mag release button there because you know it feels good. I I don't need to turn the gun around in order to press it. And also it's a Armory Craft kind of a package. Um, next thing I did is to the uh, FCU or the uh, trigger. So I bought this adjustable trigger from Armory Craft, and it's let's see. Uh, yeah, dual adjustable flat trigger from Army Craft, and in order to put it on and set it to the right uh, pre-travel and over-travel, um, honestly, to put this trigger on the FCU, it was a lot of hassle to me, um, especially how you disassemble the, the the FCU and the you know remove the spring or uh, wiggle the trigger bar around and all those kind of things. It took me some time, and uh, I'm glad I still you know did it. So it's totally worth it. It's n it's not as simple as I want it to be, but it can be done. And next I have the, let's see, let me see the list. What else I have? I definitely have the uh, Armory Craft Action Spring Tuning Kit uh, that they came out some time ago. And the moment I see it, I'm like, yep, I'm gonna get it. Because one of the common problem of a P320 FCU is that kind of a mushy, you know, feeling when you pull the trigger and this tuning kit from Armory Craft absolutely improved it and I loved it. So what I have is I believe there, there, there are different conf uh, configurations that you can look it up. So my configuration was the uh, reduction on the um, uh, sear springs I used you know minus 50% and I also uh, let's see uh, the striker safety spring I definitely used it and for the trigger return is that the trigger return spring uh, I use the uh, plus 10% actually. That will give it a clearer uh, break. Um, so I don't necessarily look for the uh, strictly decreasing the, 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 the trigger pull. I also want to have feel that kind of a clear uh, wall and clear break. So that will give a much better uh, feeling uh, when, when, when you shoot. Uh, you know clearly where the wall is and uh, have that clear kind of a break that will help uh, with that kind of um, break anticipation. Right? So yeah, definitely increase the power, increase the power trigger return spring by 10% and decrease the, uh, the sear spring by 50% and then plus a striker safety spring. Yep, uh, that's what I got. So that completely changed the, uh, at least the dry fire experience uh, compared to the original, you know, uh, X5 Legion FCU. So this is how much the pre-travel is. I believe they recommend at least two millimeter, right? Uh, so I kept that and then yeah, it definitely feels you know heavier than the o uh, than the OEM one, but it's so much more crisp. So, yep. Just feels awesome, man. This is no longer a P three twenty trigger. Uh, tr particular trigger pull feeling any anymore. So that's awesome. And what else? Um, 
that's about it if that's about it if that's about it what i have and yeah I, I i do plan to change this out to either a their uh streamlined new version which has the uh green laser or i want to change it to something else um because i just prefer uh, green laser over red laser and uh, i'm look, just looking for, again looking for that armory craft weight kit and uh, then i'll be pretty much done with this guy no more no more um customization we're building as far as i can tell so what do you think this is a super long and off balanced gun for now and uh so far i really enjoy shooting it um oh by the way um with this comp uh i didn't even need to change the recoil spring the original one uh, that comes with the factory uh, from the factory the the heavier one uh, works perfectly there's zero um, malfunctions all the ejection everything is perfect and i did try the army craft uh, compensator on it which has a bigger you know pores and everything that i did uh, have to change to the lighter recoil spring um, but after changing that then it becomes zero issues and everything so yeah overall i feel very happy about this gun and uh, i'm really digging it all right thank you for watching see you next time